Todd Quinones. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone out there. Well, right now, there are just a couple hours left in 2020, and we certainly got you covered on what's happening around town tonight. We have live team coverage right now for the big changes at Fremont Street to the only major fireworks show at the plaza. But first, anchor Ross D. Matei now starts us off with some road closures happening on the strip that are taking effect uh, pretty soon here, Ross. That's exactly right, Todd. Good afternoon to you and Happy New Year's Eve. If you've ever been down to the Las Vegas Strip, you know that this is one of the best days of the entire year, and that's partly because of these road closures. Normally, they close the road all the way from Russell all the way to Sahara. That's the majority of the Strip, and it's one of the rare times when folks can freely walk around on the Las Vegas Strip. But that is going to change this year because of the pandemic. Let's go through some of these changes because we're already seeing some of these road barriers out here at Spring Mountain. So basically, Metro starting at 7.30 p.m. tonight is going to be closing the Las Vegas Strip to vehicles from Spring Mountain all the way to Russell, which is where Mandalay Bay is. It's really the southern half of the Las Vegas Strip. Now, you may be asking, why aren't they closing the entire Strip? That's because Metro tells us that they're expecting fewer people to be coming down here. That doesn't mean they're not preparing for more. They just feel that this is the safest way to protect the folks who do come out here. Now, again, they're urging people not to come out. The governor, we've heard him saying, stay at home and celebrate safely, if at all possible. We're going to be keeping an eye on to see if people are wearing masks, how many people show up here tonight. But again, those road closures are going to be in place from Spring Mountain all the way to Mandalay Bay starting at 730. And that is going to be in place at 8 p.m. So don't try and drive on the south end of the Strip after 8 p.m. We're live on the Las Vegas Strip. Ross D. Matei, 13 Action News. And Ross, there's some big changes here on Fremont Street. We were expecting at least at 11 p.m. last night around uh, 14,000 people, but that plan scrapped just hours ago after consulting with health and uh, state leaders here because uh, they were saying it's just too dangerous. Uh, take a live look right now at the iconic canopy here on Fremont Street. And uh, tonight it will be uh, closed at 6 p.m., restricting people to just hotel guests with wristbands. You can see that pillar right there. So this is a big change. Uh, let's take a look at some video here. The Fremont Street Experience says the changes came after consulting with health officials. The uproar started when a security fee of just $25 was being charged. Saw, some saw that as a ticket to an event. It would allow people 21 and over to walk under the iconic canopy for New Year's after a security screening. As I said, 14,000 people were expected. That's well over the 50 person limit for public gatherings in the state right now. Now in previous years, of course, Fremont Street is typically packed so tightly, it's hard to move on New Year's Eve. This year though, not the case. No live shows, no bands, and no live entertainment. Back out here live on iconic Fremont Street, people who purchase that security fee in advance will be refunded. Roads, as we mentioned, are already closed. Fourth Street right here at Fremont Street, as well as Casino Center Boulevard is shut down on Fremont Street. The mall will begin closing out at uh, and clearing out at five o'clock for that security sweep. And then people will be uh, allowed from the hotels to go in there. But again, uh, not open to the public unless you have a ticket and a wristband. Let's go over to Danny Beckstrom. Danny and I were together on Fremont Street last year having a blast this year. She's away from me, but she's over at the plaza <laughs> where the fireworks show will be going on. Danny. Yeah, Jill, I would say from where you are on Fremont Street to where I am at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas, that's considered safely social distance, right? I am on top of the Plaza's uh, South Tower right now where they are setting up the only fireworks show, the only coordinated fireworks show that's set to uh, begin tonight at midnight. We are talking 1,200 fireworks lasting about six minutes, and I'm so excited to see the show. If you're wondering why I have this great uh, outfit on, they're actually actively setting up the show as we speak. So I've got my safety hat, my safety goggles. We can't be too cautious in 2020, right? You never know what could happen for the final hours. If you have any plans for tonight, want to get you a quick check of the New Year's Eve forecast. Right now, it's a little chilly. I think the big difference maker is the breeze. It's already started to pick up and we do expect windy conditions as we approach midnight tonight. Right now, 51 degrees in Las Vegas. We're running a little colder than this time yesterday, but it's that steady wind out of the north, 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's 
it's really making it start to uh, feel chilly. As we approach sunset tonight, temperatures are going to dip into the 40s. Of course, right now it's just 50 degrees, so it's feeling quite chilly. We do expect 40s approaching midnight tonight uh, with wind chill in the 30s, thanks to that steady breeze with gusts up to 20, 25 miles per hour. The sky is expected to clear out, though, so although it looks pretty moody over the Las Vegas Valley right now, the cloud cover will clear, so there are no major weather worries for the fireworks plan uh, tonight. Just got to keep those winds in a uh, steady spot. I'll have much more from here at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas coming up in just a bit, but for now, I'll toss it back to you, Todd. Yeah, Danny, I feel like you, you need a sledgehammer over your shoulder there. All right, looking pretty good there. All right, it is